Hey guys, today we're going to look at your new Dell Chromebook. So here it is, Dell Chromebook 11, and I want to show you a few of the hardware features on it first, and then we'll take a look at Chrome. So on the top of your screen, or on the back side of your screen, you've got an indicator light that we'll look at later. To the left of the keyboard, you've got your power uh, input, you've got a USB input, you've got an HDMI, uh, input port and your um, headphones and an SD slot for an SD card. Then on the right hand side you've got a USB port. So let's open it up and take a look at the Dell. Okay so here's the Dell as soon as you or the Chromebook as soon as you open it up it should start and it is pr very quick compared to the Windows devices you're used to. And so it's just ready for you to sign in. Let's take a look at the keyboard before we do that though. The keyboard is a little different. You'll notice there is no uh, delete key. The power button, by the way, if it doesn't start up, is right above the backspace. Across the top, there is no F function keys. You've got a back and forward or a uh, refresh, make your full size screen, pull up different, uh, go to a different screen or different tab. You've got your uh, your settings, your sound function keys, all up here at the top. Your speakers, by the way, are here and here. You have your uh, touchpad here. There is no way to, uh, to do a right click. So if you try to right click by clicking the right side of the touchpad, it does not work. To right click, instead of using one finger, use two and you click on it and it knows the difference. And if that if, you're, if you have large fingers like mine and that doesn't always work, if you hold the Alt key and then click, it will work uh, for the right click. So let's go ahead and I'm going to sign in. So we're going to use the magic of movies and go very quickly here. Okay, as soon as you log in, it will load your preferences and that's going to load all of your apps, all of your um, your, your Google Drive and Google Docs, it's going to ask you which display picture you want. I'm going to use my Bitmoji because I'm cool like that. All right, and then it's going to ask you to take a tour. And you can do that or you can hit escape and just keep following this video. Now, there are two parts to your uh, screen, your home screen here. Uh, you cannot put any apps or anything like that on the desktop. So that's just going to be a picture all the time. The two parts are you have your Google shelf here to the left. And over here to the right, you have your settings. So any kind of notifications, your time, your Wi-Fi, your battery power. As you can see, this one's about gone. And then if you click on your picture, you have your setting information so you can figure out which uh, Wi-Fi to connect to, turn or turn off Bluetooth, your uh, sound is there as well again your time and battery are there and then you could power off or lock your screen or go to help. Your settings if you click on there it will bring up your Google Chrome and then your settings for the Chromebook and it looks a lot like your Chrome browser you guys can play with those later and figure out how to change your background and colors and all that fun stuff. So that's your settings over here to the right. Over here to your left is your Google uh, shelf, Google Chromebook shelf. And this is going to have any kind of apps that you want to pull down to it. Now, sorry, I'm going to have a bunch of stuff uh, pop up behind us here and interrupt as it's loading all of my apps. So. As that's happening, let's go ahead and go over here to the launcher. If you click on the magnifying glass, that will launch your Google um, menu here. And it's going to have your apps, and um, these are the generic apps that are already hosted on there. Plus, if I click on here, it will have uh, all of the, the uh, default apps plus the ones that I have chosen to download in the past. There are a few apps that I want to point out to you uh, besides, you know, things like Google Docs, Google Slides, uh, and that. And the first one is your files. It's in a blue circle. Uh, it's got a, a folder on it. If you click on files, it will open up your files screen. 
It should look familiar. This is your Google Drive, and uh, it's going to have a couple additional uh, parts to it, and that is the offline files and anything that you guys download. So something from Moodle, maybe uh, it will download it there, and um, maybe it puts it in. You can put it into your own Google Drive later, or you can click on offline, and any files that you have saved for offline will start to load. Mine are going to load a little bit slowly because I'm just signed into this device, but those are all of them and it will uh, start to download those for me. Depending on how many files, it may take a little bit of time for that to happen automatically. So you can go to your Google Drive, your Shared With Me, you can um, see what most recent files that you have, and you can search up here at the top for those things, just like you can in Google Drive. Uh, and here are some other options. Don't have to worry about buying more storage. We have a ton of storage. You can see I've got 10 terabytes and I've got a lot of my stuff on there and it's not even close to being full. So, let's exit out of your Google folder, your file folder. Let's go back to the app launcher. Click on it, bring up your app launcher and what I've found is the very last folder on here is the Dell folder. If you click on the Dell folder, it will open up uh, the Dell apps, and one of them is called, or the only one that's on there, is called Dell Activity Light. You click on that, and it gives you three different options. Now, if you click on this and turn your screen around, I clicked on red, and I click on the red button, and the red light comes up. Then if Hi, I. Kamaya Reed, Janiah Hall, please come to the office. Tyriana McGee, Kamaya Reed, Janiah Hall, please come to the office. Then if I click on the blue button, it changes to blue. So you guys can come up with your own language and talk to each other that way, or the teacher more than likely will use that in class. Um, so, or maybe not. Up to them. Uh, so that's the Dell Activity Light. Down here at the bottom, and this is where most of uh, the things, or most everything is going to be done in uh, Google, on this Google Chromebook, is in Google Chrome. And this is the ex exact same browser that is on uh, your devices at home, your Windows devices, the Chrome browser that we, uh, that everyone uses, it's the exact same thing. Um, so uh, some of your apps will open up in it, some of them will open up by themselves, and, um, but this is where you're going to do most of your work. And it, as you can see here across the top, across the top, still has all of my apps, and it's got all of my bookmarks that I've got. And then it will load all of those automatically uh, if you've saved them and signed into Chrome in the past. All right, so guys, that is, you can see I've got a couple of uh, notifications here that I need to know about. You saw those probably load earlier, and um, those are app notifications that might pop up. But that is your Dell Chromebook. If you guys need any help, you can come down to the Tech Help Desk and we will get you taken care of.